everyone, live it like Lisa here. Guess what video I've got for you guys today. <laughs> uh, I, I haven't completely, completely finished it. I've got maybe one or two more decor projects I want to do for it, but I, I'll, I can't let you guys wait much longer. You've been so patient with me. So I'll finally show you my main bedroom fully decorated fully finished and i'll take you through everything so i'm standing at the front of my door here let me just step back a bit so you can sort of see so this is our front entrance and as you come to the door got my chandeliers up <laughs> so i'll start from this end and I'll take you all the way through. So as you walk in on this wall, give you a little bit of a scan back here. So this is the first corner. I have my linen, linen cupboard wardrobe there, and then these few pieces here. So I'll leave a link to all the videos relating to this makeover in the description box below. So if there are any videos or anything you see in this video, that you want to know how I did it, it will be linked below for you guys. So starting off here, we have my little chair that I did a makeover to, my side table and the vintage suitcases. Now, this is a bit of a close up of the chair. That was a furniture makeover I did. And then this little side table is also a little furniture makeover. Sitting on that, I have that little farmhouse mason jar was from Spotlight. And the flowers, they were just like from eBay or AliExpress, one of those. I've got a little Kmart candle here, my vintage book stack. And then underneath there, I just have a basket that doesn't have anything in at the moment and an extra throw blanket. The, both the baskets were from Kmart as well as the throw blanket was Kmart as well. So here are my vintage suitcases and I just have them sitting on a tray, like a folding tray, which was from Kmart. And inside the suitcases, I just keep the extra mattress protector and an extra bulkier throw blanket as well. So they sort of come in handy for some extra storage in the bedroom as well. Now on the wall, this was probably the last video that I've done for my bedroom. That was a little frame makeover I did. And then next to that is my little rustic DIY window frame that I did. And I've just got sitting on that a love heart from the reject shop. Um, here is my vintage linen cupboard that I picked up off the buy and sell. I think I've got it for about a hundred dollars and absolutely love it. And I use it to store all my bed linens in. So all my bed sheets and quilt covers I store in there. And then at the top of that, I just have another little vintage suitcase we just painted it in white chalk paint the little white basket was from kmart the flowers that are in it was from kmart and that other bigger basket was just from the thrift store so that's that side of the room and then coming across here this was this chair was this chair and that one there that was just a free pickup that I got from uh, the buy, swap and sell. It was just a guy saying, you've got two chairs, anyone wants them, come and pick them up. You can have them for free. So yeah, I grabbed them. I didn't do anything to this one. I just left it as is. So it's the sort of the same color as it was originally. But that one, obviously I gave a bit of a paint makeover to. Now sitting on that chair, I've just got a throw blanket that was from Kmart the uh, galvanized tin was from kmart and i think i'm gonna eventually roll up a few white hand towels and put them in there as well for some storage and sitting on the floor next to that is a washing basket from kmart 
and those two pillowcases were from uh, Ikea. So moving on to this side, so that's the front door to the bedroom there. Behind this wall is where our wardrobe goes and then the other opening is there. So it's sort of like a, you go behind the wall into the wardrobe. And then this is our bed. So moving closer, uh, the bed skirt was a video I've done on how to create a bed skirt out of drop cloth. This little floor mat was from Kmart. This is my husband's side. Now I have to thank my husband because he's so handy. He can do anything. There's nothing he can't do. And he's wired up my bedside lights, like hardwired them into the wall, as well as my chandeliers. He's actually hardwired them straight into the ceiling as well. The chandeliers I bought from eBay. I think they were about $80 each, which I thought was quite a good buy because I absolutely love the way they look in this room. And these bedside lights, I'm pretty sure were from AliExpress, which is like a cheaper version of eBay, to be honest. I think they're starting to take over eBay now because, yeah, they've got the same stuff for heaps cheaper. Um, so I think these were about oh, $25 dollars each so I think they were just under fifty dollars for two of them I'm pretty sure so I thought that was quite a good price and I really love the way they look I like the fact that you know it's taken away having a lamp on the bedside table as well so it sort of gives you a little bit more room on your bedside table so this is my husband's side this was a furniture makeover I did and sitting on his bedside, we have a jute placemat, which is from Kmart. This black tray was originally brown. That was picked up from the thrift store. I've just painted it black for my husband's side. The lantern and candle were both from Kmart. And then I've just got a little photo frame here, which was from the reject shop. And I've just printed off an image off the internet and put it in there. So that's my husband's side. We have our bed here, which was a furniture makeover I did as well. The white bedding was from, was it from Kmart? I can't know. I think this white bedding might have been Target. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. It was a while ago that I bought it. I'm pretty sure it might have been Target. The little white cushion in the middle there, that was Kmart. And then this is actually a king size quilt cover, but I just use it as a throw over the end of the bed. So that and then the two matching pillowcases, they were from eBay as well. So moving up here to my mantel shelf, which my husband so handily put up for me as well. He's lovely. Um, we've, I've just decorated it pretty simply. Uh, this was actually uh, made just out of MDF. It's not even real wood. So yeah, I've got a video on that, which I'll leave below. And on the top of that, I've just put a couple of candlesticks and I think I will get a couple of candles to sit on top of those. And the rose there was from Kmart. The pine cones you'll see throughout my whole house. I just love decorating them. Um, now these frames were from Kmart and the Love You More Than Yesterday poster I just printed off the internet. I, f I think I found it on Pinterest and I just used uh, a Word document to just print it off myself. That's just me and my husband down to a T. We're not very romantic in that way, but that sort of fits our, our relationship quite perfectly. <laughs> Love you more than yesterday because yesterday you got on my nerves. <laughs> um, and then that picture there, I just printed off the internet. I just sort of, you know, it's a bit more East, it's got a bit of an Easter vibe. Um, probably a bit of a springtime vibe, I guess, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, but 
yeah, I just printed that image off the internet for now. And as the seasons change, I can just change out the picture there. So I'll move around to my side of the bed. So I've got the same jute mat on the floor as my husband. And then on my side, I have another jute placemat that I've just put on top. This little velvet tray was from Kmart. The candle was Kmart. The vase was Kmart. The rose was Kmart. <laughs> the frame was the reject shop. And then the image in there was just an image I printed off the internet. <laughs> so yeah, it was very heavily Kmart, this bedroom. I didn't even realize. And so, yeah, up the top on this mantle, I've got my thrift store antique frame, which I've just put there. Now, this is going to be one of the make little DIY decor projects that I still have to finish because I'm just going to um, be doing something in the middle of that frame. So that's one of the projects, you know, will be coming up shortly. These leaves were from Kmart. They're just sort of the sprigs that they have available. I think they're about $3.00. So that's my mantel shelf. Then next to my bed, we have this little ladder display, which was from Kmart. The two little popped uh, woven pots there, they were both from Kmart and I've just attached them with a bit of jute twine. The lavender inside that pot was from Kmart. It was like a bunch of lavender for about $5. This tiny reef was from the reject shop. I think it was about $7, something like that. And I just have another throw blanket over this ladder here. That's from Kmart as well. It's sort of Sherpa on that side and gray on that side. And then through here, this is our laundry hamper. That's for the, that was from Kmart. It's a little bit dark in here, but uh, this is our wardrobe coming through here. So I've kept the little chandelier in here that used to be in the bedroom. I've done a whole sort of declutter and reorganize of this wardrobe as well. So that's there. And then all these storage drawers, they're all from fa uh, Fantastic Furniture. So that's our wardrobe behind that wall. And then sort of looking... This way, it's probably a bit dark with the windows shining in. But yeah, I just, I'm so happy with these, like the way the whole bedrooms come together. It looks, it looks lived in now rather than very bare, I feel. So on this side is my vanity. And I've got my shelves up above the vanity there. So I've got a little life is better in the country sign. That, the frame was from Kmart, the sign I just made myself on like Canva or a, you can do it on Word document as well. Um, the little bottles across here, they were from Spotlight and the lavender sprigs in them, they were from Kmart. This little basket was Kmart. The, I've just got some little makeup sponges in there at the moment. More pine cones, this little candle was from where was that from possibly ebay i'm not 100 percent sure now it's actually a little candle uh and that lantern i'm pretty sure was ikea so moving down onto my vanity i did end up keeping my chair that i originally had in here because it just fits so perfectly under that vanity table I could not get rid of it and I did love it and I think it still goes in the bedroom quite well so I'm happy to keep it so on my vanity here again the vanity was another makeover I've done link will be below in the description box I just have a picture frame on here again the picture I've just printed straight off the internet just you know found some floral pictures and printed one I liked the candle this little candle, I'm pretty sure it was Target. Uh, does it say? Yeah, Target, that one. So that's Target. That was a little gift off one of my students uh, a couple of years ago. Then inside here, I just keep some of my 
um, eyeshadow palettes and my foundations. In this drawer, I've got my eyeshadows and brow type products. This little guy was from Spotlight. I have a little jar here, which was from the reject shop and I've just got my makeup brushes in here, which need cleaning, <laughs> clearly. Um, these two were a gift from my lovely friend Shell at Shell's Glam Home. Thank you, Shell, they're beautiful. In here, I've just got my mascaras and eyeliners. And then in these drawers below, the drawers are quite shallow, so I haven't been able to do any sort of um, organisation to them as yet. It will probably eventually come, but for now, I've just got them sitting in here. So this is all like the face powders, um, blush, concealers, and that sort of thing in there. And then in here <laughs> is all the lip stuff. As you can see, lip things, that's what I love. So, yeah, I'll probably find, because the, the acrylic trays that I had originally bought from Kmart, they don't actually fit in these drawers. So I'll probably eventually come up with some sort of organisation system for these. But for now, this is working fine. So that is my vanity table, which I absolutely love. And I love the look with the shelves above it as well. Now, my bathroom hasn't changed a great deal, so I will show you just quickly the bathroom. So I'm not going to show you me at the moment because I'm still in my pyjamas. <laughs> but yeah, the only thing I've changed on the bathroom, if you've watched my videos before, you may or may not notice, but they used to have chrome square handles here. So I've just changed them out for something a little bit more farmhouse and just put black under under grip handles on them there this caddy here was from kmart um, i've had it quite a while now so like i said there's not much really has changed in the bathroom if you've seen previous videos most of this stuff in here is all kmart so we've got some kmart storage containers which have like earbuds cotton buds and face pads in uh, I've got a little vase at the back there with some greenery that was Kmart. These little face oils are Kmart. This is like your charcoal powder for uh, teeth whitening. Another little candle from uh, Target. Have a couple of little hand towels here, a lantern, reed diffusers, they're all Kmart. And then up the top here we have a little bucket which was Kmart, the hand towels were Kmart, and the artificial plant was Ikea. Then this is my side of the vanity. I've kept it pretty clear, got a lot of the clutter removed, so we just have a soap dispenser on each side, my husband's side there. Then the bath area, again, hasn't really changed a great deal. I've just painted around that sign uh, I think it was originally a lot more black, so I've just sort of painted it a bit more white and I changed the sign out in the middle because this again, I've just printed it off myself. I've just gone onto Canva or Word document and, you know, printed all that out myself and just put it in a frame. I think I did have it in black and gold before, but I actually like the way it looks in white a lot better. So that's the only real thing I've changed out. The frame was from Kmart. The jug there was from Kmart. Then up the top here, my little rustic shelf. Now I've put gone and put the original rope uh, back onto that um, shelf. I changed, I swapped it out for a chain before, but I actually prefer it now with the rope to give it that more farmhousey feel. And I've just decorated it with some little items there, mostly all from Kmart. The hanging plant, that was Ikea. I think it was only about $4.99 from Ikea. All the bath bombs, candles and the little vases and that, they were all Kmart. And then on my little bath tray here, this was a Kmart hack that I did. It actually was a shoe rack that I've changed into two bath trays. 
uh, one in this bathroom and one in my kids bathroom and I do have a video on how I did that as well which I'll link for you below and yeah I've got a little hand towel that goes underneath that that's just in the wash at the moment so I've just got a few little things on there they were all came out the little bicycle was the reject shop and the plant that's in it was a reject shop but the candle the um, body buffer and the soaps they were all came up and then on this side of the bath we just have bath towels hanging up there and these are some like lolly jars that were from Kmart and I've just got in those milk powder Himalayan pink salt and some bath salts and they're all good to add to your bath like the milk powder is actually really good for softening your skin the Himalayan pink salt has got a lot of minerals and things in which are good as well for your skin and then the bath salts they were just from Kmart they just make your bath smell nice <laughs> and then that's all my body shop products and most there's like all my products that I got from my advent calendar are in there as well and the basket that they're sitting in is from Kmart as well and I forgot to show you both the bath mats there they're from Kmart as well then on this side we have our shower nothing too exciting there and then through this door is our toilet which is still being repaired by the hubby <laughs> he promises next weekend it's getting fixed it was springing a leak from the floor so yeah he's promised to finally fix that for me but in here we just have some uh that's a what do you call it toilet roll holder and toilet brush they're both from kmart and then on this side we have a little black bin and this little caddy here they were both kmart and then in that caddy, we've just got a candle and a plant, all from Kmart. That little black bag just contains some sanitary items and then some extra toilet paper down there. And then up the top on this shelf here, we just have those two shelves are from Kmart. This little black set of plant holders are from Kmart. The plants I think were from eBay and then on here that's all Kmart the little circular what do we call those sphere things the candle and the photo frame all from Kmart and again I've just printed off uh, an image I found on the internet to put in there and then opposite our shower is just our towels which we have hanging up and above those I have two prints. The frames again were from Kmart. They were actually more of a beachy color and I've just sort of painted over them lightly with a bit of dark, darker brown just to, you know, darken them up a little bit. And again, the prints I just found on the internet and printed them off. So yeah, the bathroom, like I said, hasn't changed a lot. Um, I do plan to do a couple of little farmhousey signs um, I've got an idea to do a little bench here for some towels on. So there will be a few little DIY projects coming up, but I just thought I just, I didn't want you guys to wait any longer while I finish all these projects. I just thought I'll show you how it all is now. So at least you've seen it. And then as I do the extra projects, I can always just show you um, a little update as I do them. So I'm so, so happy with the way it looks now. It just, it, to me, it looks really cozy and lived in and not so bare and sparse. And, and I think the whole vibe is more together. Like the, the way it used to look before, there was just something about it that wasn't gelling with me. Like they just seemed to be mismatched and I don't know. I just, I'm just really, I'm over the moon with the way it's turned out. It's exact. It's everything that I had pictured in my head, and I'm just really, really, really happy. I'm really, yeah. And I've got to thank my hub, hubby <laughs> from Mike's Man Cave. Make sure you check his channel out as well. He does um, quite very different videos to me, but yeah, he's he's just been a big help in 
doing a lot of these electrical electrical um, jobs for me, hooking up my lights and um, doing, you know, helping me put up my mantel shelf and do my chandeliers. So, yeah, I had to give him a big shout out because he's really taken a whole day from his day off just to help me do those. So big thanks to him. But then again, he's got a lovely bedroom to, to sleep in now as well. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I know it's been such a long time coming, but thank you so much for your patience. And I hope you've enjoyed it because I've been so excited to, to finally share it with you guys. If you have any questions about anything, if I've skimmed over something and I've forgotten to explain anything or you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video please leave them in the comments below I, I definitely answer every single comment it may take me a couple of days to get there but I do answer every comment so if there's anything you need any questions answering or need any clarification on please don't hesitate to leave it below and I'll definitely definitely give you a response well thank you so much again for your patience guys I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one thanks for watching